Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here today with the Starry Skies pack getting ready to welcome the second litter of Stardancer and Geo. For those of you guys who don't know, Stardancer is a descendant of the Moon Pack and we have been working with Wolf Quest for a very very long time now. The Moon Pack was our original founding pack and then we had Nightlight and Atlas who were two brothers of the Moon Pack who went their own ways and Atlas founded the Stormy Skies pack and Nightlight kept the Moon Pack going and so we had many 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 generations of wolves with the moon pack and with the stormy skies pack until we finally brought them back together to create the starry skies pack and we've done really well so far so we have beautiful star dancer who is our gorgeous wolf right here and yes she is wearing the radio collar a lot of you guys keep asking what's that on her neck or am i seeing things no that's a radio collar and so occasionally you'll hear an airplane here in the creek area and star dancer will freak out because she she runs away from that airplane every time. She was actually picked up by a biologist as well as Geo. They were hit by a car and Geo got hit with her. And so they were both taken to a biology center where they were uh, given treatment and they recovered whew, right down into icy water and then released and they released Stardancer with a collar on her neck so that they can keep track of her and see how the pack grows. And so every time she hears the plane, she just remembers those terrible memories of the frightening humans. And so she'll take off and run around in circles. That's kind of like her personal burden, her personal challenge to always carry. And we also say that even though you can't see her, we have Geo's sister, Wisp, who is an all-white wolf, uh, running around with us too. So Wisp is somewhere here. She can't really hunt. So we do all of the hunting and we try to leave behind a little bit of food for her every time we go hunting. And we did manage to raise three puppies last time. Aha, there's our food. All right, let's turn and we're going to chase it very carefully. So we have something to eat. And we're going to do a little bit of hunting today. But yeah, you guys voted last time on the fate of the puppies from the first litter. And okay, is it you? Who's going to start running? There, somebody started running over here. All right, no, Gio, don't get yourself beat up by an elk. We need to beat them up. That's the whole point. Oh, she back kicked me. Darn. All right, and I need to turn her a little bit. And we're going to run over here. Gio, Gio, could you help out? Yay, Gio, thank you. Quick, before she hits the river, if she gets to the river, then then like the hunting is over. Because if she falls and dies in the river, we don't get any food from the elk. Oh, I need to get just a teensy bit more stamina back. All right, and then rush the elk, rush the elk. Oh, I ran out of stamina just as we got to the end. No, no elk, no. No, Gio, wait. All right, now we need to follow her across the path and now get her. No, keep moving, keep moving. Don't die in the river. If you die in the river, I lose all the food that you could have given us. So keep, no wrong bad no oh uh, okay now we have to chase her man she's being a bit wily but yeah you guys voted on the fate of our first three puppies who survived the first litter there was quartz mira and time and so you voted to see who would have a bit more of an adventure going on with their lives and it came down really really closely between quartz and mira and in the end mira won so Mira's adventure is that she has always listened very carefully and very closely to all of the stories of the ancestors of the wolves. And so her special ability is that if she ever becomes the uh, wolf pack leader, like if she ever is voted to be the heir of the Starry Skies pack, then she always gets to have the difficulty level that that year rolled uh, reduced by one. And she gets an extra ancestor blessing to start with every time she has a litter. So it's a pretty powerful boot. And that's kind of how that works for her is um, because she listened so carefully to the stories and because she got kidnapped by her father momentarily and yanked all over the map and kind of got a good tour of everything as a very young puppy then I'm saying that she has a better sense of the layout of the land than her sisters. So that's why no matter what the year is, she'll have an easier time that year. And she, because she listened so well to all of the stories of her ancestors, she will have the additional ancestor blessing. So Mira has a pretty strong start. And if you guys had voted on Quartz and taken up the Coyote Challenge, because Quartz was second in place, then we actually would have worked a little bit with Quartz before moving to the second letter by taking her to the Lost Valley and exploring 
exploring and adventuring and developing her personality until uh, she had taken out like about 10, 15 coyotes. So that's what could have happened with Quartz, but we ended up having Mira get this hugely strong boost. So if you ever end up picking her as the next heiress to the Starry Skies pack after we have all of the litters with our beautiful Star Dancer and Geo, then that's what will happen with Mira. All right, let's go ahead. We got this, we got this. All right, and we're gonna take out these elk. And there's a specific reason we're taking out the elk because this year's challenge, oh, and I do need to change the difficulty for this year. This year actually rolled to be not that bad of a year. I use a dice and I roll a dice every single time the wolves prepare to have a new litter of puppies. And this year actually rolled challenging. So we're, we just have to kind of yank it up by one to be uh, challenging instead of be like really super extremely difficult. And it's not easy because they, they never get to repeat a difficulty level. So I rolled a dice and the dice rolled one. So that means moving up one from whatever the year before was. So they're at challenging. So that's what this year is for Star Dancer and Geo. And her unique challenge this year for her puppies is that she needs to come and for some reason she needs to just meet with a coyote over here in this forest at night at some point after she has puppies and they have some sort of very important information to convey to them about the health of the land she doesn't need to be friends with the coyote she doesn't she definitely doesn't need to kill the coyote killing the coyote invalidates the whole point of her special mission but for some reason and you guys can help me come up with that reason she has to meet with the coyote here at night after her puppies are born so i'm trying to kill a few elk so we can make that happen but the challenges are definitely becoming a lot more story-based and a lot more technical as we go on so it'll be interesting to see how we work with that all right and then let's start running back towards where our home is going to be because we're going to take up residence at the saddle meadows den a saddle meadows den again because we don't want to be anywhere where the coyotes are going to show up at night and that's going to be behind us and we can't kill those coyotes we just have to find them sometime at night after we have puppies so hopefully that won't be too difficult but it's a new type of challenge that we're putting in but that's not all you guys in the video description below you're going to see a link to a special straw poll and you are all going to help determine what kind of extra additional story what other adventures whoa that's a really deep 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 river our wolves have to start with for the year. So there's several choices in the straw poll and each choice may have a good outcome or a bad outcome. You might help give the wolves an extra ancestor blessing or things might become more difficult for them this year. We might have to increase the difficulty level based off of what you guys pick. You guys may even pick an option where it may automatically kill one of the puppies. So as soon as our puppies are born, one of them will end up dying from some sort of condition um, based off of what you have to choose from in the straw poll you just have to kind of guess and work as a community to figure out which option you think would be the best for our wolves work together as their starry ancestors and then yeah there's also options that will give more ancestor blessings options that will affect the personality and the um personal challenges some of the wolf pups could have so there's a lot going on. You really have so much of the adventure and so much of the story in your hands. Whew. But that being said, I'm so glad we're over here, Geo. We are going to try to find the elk and we're going to try to take out a few elk and prepare because that's a pretty unique journey to have to run all the way across the other side of the map and hopefully be able to find um, a coyote at night in that forest purely for the story-based challenge of it. And things turned out really really interesting really dramatic and a little bit sad last time when draco got killed by an elk of all things i just can't believe that i can't believe that he was killed because an elk blocked us in the pond when we were bathing him oh wow it's so beautiful over here when we were bathing him for the poison flower challenge so that was pretty fun and i would love to hear more story idea challenges that you guys might have because they make things really interesting. Oh, we've almost got this elk. Come on, Geo. Come on, Geo. We've almost got her. We've almost got her, and she can be some of our food. We need some freeze-dried food. There we go. And we're going to need some more names, as usual. The name list is usually extremely huge, and I'm constantly adding to it. But this time around, we are once again picking names from uh, geo like gemstones, geodes, minerals, picking names from the forest, and picking names. Ooh, let's see. Is there an elk who's run over here? Because it looks like, let's see, this is going to be geoscent. It looks like the elk has already run back, so we'll, we'll wiggle out one of the weak ones and chase her down, too. 
But yeah, gemstones, uh, geological formations, plants that are part of the forest, uh, and then stars. So stars, galactic formations, things like that. We are really expanding the name list for our wolves. And remember, like it's kind of random at random what is used. And because we have hundreds of names suggested, sometimes I just don't see yours right away. But don't panic, we'll get there. We're gonna get this elk up there too. Fresh elk for Wisp to enjoy, fresh elk for the puppies who are going to be born. And I'm really excited to leave the power of the story kind of in your guys' hands and we'll have to see what happens, what additional adventures are going to happen to our wolves as a result. And I've been so excited seeing all of the absolutely amazing fan art and the stories. Like I said, I might start reading off some of the stories you guys are coming up with or at least putting them in the Google documents. They don't have to be like what the actual plot turned out to be either. They just might be stories that turned out really well. Ha! Huh? What do you guys think you're doing? No, last time we tried, it's like shooting elk in a barrel. Oh my goodness. Last time we tried this nonsense, we got totally schmished. And then some of your challenges are really cool, like only being able to hunt elk who are at full health. Oh, and we do need to get a whole bunch of elk over towards the summer hunting ground, don't we? I was kind of focused on trying to get them over towards the den, but actually we need to start chasing them across the river. So we're going to have to work on that probably next time too. And again, a lot of people are often like, this is so boring, I hate the hunting. You guys, that's what we do. We're wolves. We hunt. We hunt and we feed our children. And we work on keeping the elk population down. All right. And usually picking out the weak ones. And that's how everybody stays healthy. All right, let's see if we can chase one of the elk across the river so that we can feast on it on the way to the summer hunting grounds. Can this be our summer elk? Let's see. And then, you know, the, the straw poles are probably going to show up more regularly, like I mentioned, not just after we have, um, uh, not just after we have a litter born like we have done in the past or after we reach the summer hunting grounds. They're going to show up at random too. So uh, we might be doing really, really well on the summer, towards the summer hunting grounds. We might be making a lot of progress. And then you guys might have a straw poll where you accidentally pick the mission that kills a puppy and you don't know about it because you pick the mission where the puppy wanders into a bush and like finds a timber rattlesnake and gets bit. Or you may pick the mission that gives us the extra ancestor blessing that we end up desperately needing just as we reach the edge of the forest. So it's really up to you guys and it's gonna be so much fun. All right, I think this is probably gonna be our summer elk. So let's go ahead and keep running with it. Keep moving, summer elk. Keep those hooves going. All right, where's Geo? Gio! Hey Gio! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just taking it easy. No, 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 no. You gotta keep moving this way, okay? Alright Gio, I know this gets exciting, but we need to chase the elk up across. And then this is truly like the elk that we get all the way over to the summer hunting grounds are honestly the biggest key in survival. Taking the time to kind of patiently and expertly... Oh no, not the plane! Not the plane! Move it elk! Move it! The star dancer has to freak out and I can't... No! Get moving! Get... No! This way! Wrong direction! Go that way! Ah! No! No! Gio! What have you done? Gio! Why? I have to go... I have to freak out now because of the plane! Ah! Curses! Curses! Don't run off the cliff and get hurt, star dancer! That would be really terrible! Ah! <laughs> Alright! I'm sorry, star dancer! I know it's annoying! But we have to have her freak out every time she hears the plane. It's just her personal burden to carry. And that's kind of what I was mentioning. Sometimes the answers may not be anything super dramatic on the, the choices that you guys will have to tell the stories of the wolves. They just might be things where you like get to pick um, strengthening a personality for a pup in a certain way. And I think that would be really cool too because then you guys will get to know them a little bit better. And we've had several people suggest like using Family Echo to kind of set up the wolf pack uh, lineage and their their family trees. All right, let's see if I can find this elk. All that work. Ah, where'd she go? She's trapped in the rocks. All right. Oh, she just needs one bite. Bonk. All right, we got her. <laughs> there we go. All right, not too much. Not too much now, Geo. Not too much. That may be the elk that makes the entire difference in whether or not our puppies are going to be able to survive to the summer hunting ground or not. Phew. Good. All right, so now that that is behind us and the terrifying plane is behind us, I still think we need to chase a couple more elk over to the side of the river and use them as our food. 
But we'll also have to see what effects the adventures you are going to pick today will have you guys. So it's in your hands. Right now, Star Dancer and Geo are pretty happy because they have managed to raise at least three of their children, their three daughters, up to adulthood. And those wolves are off in the distance, being strong and powerful and learning how to expand territory of their own and participating in hunts of their own. And that's really amazing. And one day they may even be part of the Starry Skies pack again and become the heirs uh, that we use to follow all of their adventures. But it'll be really fun to see what new life we're going to bring in and what new adventures we're going to bring into the pack. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.